I just wanted to record. I'm st still sitting out with that dream or that experience, right? Sorry, I'm putting my, my thingies back. <laughs> Is it better? I think so. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's still, you know, doing its thing. My mom says the nail's gonna fall off. I don't think it will. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, for sure it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel as pressured anymore. Like it's clearly, the swelling is definitely less. It doesn't, it, yeah, it's definitely, it's getting skinnier. It's only been a week. But, uh, I feel still tired, but it's because I didn't sleep well. But, it, you know, I realized, so I listened to MJ's message this morning, and although some of it doesn't, it's like half of it, like, was with, for me, and one of the things she mentioned that I've been sitting with was this awareness that there's a reason why things are, are are not unfolding in the way that they need to right now. That there's a reason for it. And I know that, like, I know that. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still perfecting me, right? I'm still, I'm still working on me. Perfecting the cycle in me. Like, I'm calling it perfecting, but, you know. <laughs> Will you ever get there? Eh, I'm... I'm going to try, right? But I'm not going to be so rigid about it. Like, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Right? But I've always been one that I'm going to give it my best, right? I'm going to give it my best. and But I'm learning to do it in a balanced way. So yesterday, I did my best to stay balanced. I thought I, I did a really great job. <laughs> Went for a walk. Did, like, man. 80% of my like uploading it took longer than I thought because I separated into chunks that are more digestible I did some of my work from Monday so I finished you know three out of five notes and you know did some light reading <laughs> The Lover by Marguerite Dudas and I'm almost done with it I have like a third left you know, ate healthy, went for a walk, did a little more spending than usual, but, you know, it's for my, my cousin and their birthday. And then did some writing with, it was to letter to them, but still, like, it inspired, it, it just inspired me. Um, so, it, I felt like it was, like, the perfect day. Because <laughs> it felt so great. So to get that experience last night, I was like, whoa, this is so, like, and that's why I was like, did I, was I low vibing it? Because, you know, I know, like, like attracts like, right? So I was just like, was I totally low vibing it? Who did I interact with? Then I remembered I interacted with my parents, too, briefly. Aside from the people that I connected with at the stores, I, I connected with my parents. And, you know... They weren't in like utter distress. So yeah, so that dream just, or that experience of, of that energy in my room and the fear of water and death, the fear of death. And it was so early in the evening, some, so early in the morning that I thought, let me go back to sleep. You know, it, so that other one, that other few times ago where it was where I was low vibing it and my, my, my client picked up on it, but she was doing her thing and she didn't realize how powerful she was and, and she actually threw at me 
I don't think she realized she did it. I really believe that low energy was from her upbringing because I think it was her father. I honestly believe it was her father. Because that night, that man that entered my room and put the, the seat, the, the blanket up to me here and then whispered, I'll be back. I was like, oh, hell no. And then the scene right before that, I had seen myself in parts. And this was the client that had said she has um, DID. And, and so all her part, the parts of herself separated. And there was just this knowing of like, we could put ourselves back together. Like just, and that was one thing that I didn't tell her. But I truly believe we don't realize the, 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 the separation of our parts. We do that. We, we do that to protect ourselves. Until we recognize our own power, can we put ourselves back together, right? And I think that's what that dream was showing me. It's like, I could put myself back together. I have that. If I could, if I could reclaim that same amount of power back, I could do that for myself, right? But, but the client needs to be, you know, entertain that belief. Because there's a belief that this event separated me. And it's not true. I separated myself to protect myself. And so if I did that, I could put myself back together with the same force, with the same energy, with the same desire. That's what it is. The same desire, right? The same desire. But anyways, after that dream, I went back to sleep. And that's when I had the dream to clear it out. <laughs> to clear it out, right? That, that, the dream where my coworker was like, there's something here, we should sage it. And, and there was a little book that wasn't supposed to be in my room. Um, that, that's what the second dream was after that energetic experience and I woke up pissed off because it's like who of low vibration is in here right then I had the dream to clear it out I went back to bed thinking to myself if I have that same dream I'll do the same but I didn't same as the other one so that's that's how I know I think it's you <laughs> that's how I think I I know that it's you also Jesus Cisneros like what is happening that that you're you're and and then I started thinking about it too. I started thinking about you told me once you told me water you're afraid of water because you almost died. You almost died. And that's why there was this conflicting I mean I totally could be making it up, right? But I'm trying to put the puzzles together. <laughs> That's why it felt like there was, there was, it, that's why it felt like it was part of my fear too. That's the thing. Like there was this feeling of like, I know I'm not afraid of death, but I'm afraid at the same time. But it was like a, an elevated, like more than usual. And that's what threw me off. I'm like, this is, this is, this is more, this is more like, this is not me. There, it's me, but it's not me at the same time. That feeling that it's me, but it's not me. And then the other scene, the, uh, the more fear, there was more fear, but I couldn't tell if it was singing or speaking fear. There was a lot of fear. And my coworker goes there again. She, she, and the, that's, I think that's where I was confused. I'm like, does she sing? Like what, what, why is she there? And this is a cool, like, I don't have a connection. Like I need to find out what her, what is her birth, when is her birthday? Because I, I don't, this is the second time she comes out in one of my dreams. And I don't know the connection to her or the symbolism behind her. But anyways, MJ, MJ said something about, there's a reason why it's slowing down or, or it, it's not manifesting as quickly. There's something that needs to occur, right? I know that. Like I know because of the videos that have posted or that will post 
right? It hasn't posted the, the intense videos of, of healing the parts of my past and, right, and I'm entertaining ideas, right, yours as well. It's, 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 it's not, it hasn't posted here. But this, this one. It's so anyway, so she said, oh, what did she say? She said something. <laughs> I have to listen to it again. I have to listen to it again. But what it evoked within me was this awareness that this is why I'm struggling with that particular course. So I have a course that I'm working on. And there was a part of it yesterday. I'm writing this uh, birthday letter to my cousin. I decided to do a play on words, uh, book titles. Uh, um, I chose certain book titles with the hope that the content is what I think it is. But the play of words in order, like this, this, this gradual um, expansion of events and, and the symbolism behind it, right? I came, this was one of the books. <laughs> and so in the letter, I'm explaining to my cousin that as I was entertaining the introduction, as I was preparing the letter, I couldn't put it down. Like I, I wanted to keep reading more and more. And then I realized that I got jealous. I got jealous because I bought this book with them in mind. But then I was realizing that I, I wanted to read it. I wanted to read her, the lover, and um, and the back says that it's a haunting story of a tumultuous affair between an adolescent French girl and her French lover. And what struck me was that it was with her Chinese lover, and, and I mentioned it to my cousin, and I think I've mentioned it here too, that I, I have, I, I think Asian men are beautiful, like there's just something about Asian men I, I don't know what it is and um, so that intrigued me a little bit um, and so I was um, I was just struck by it and, and that it takes place in um, France's colonial days in um, but it's it's it takes place in Vietnam. I think it's Vietnam. It's Vietnam. Mm. I want to say it's Vietnam. And so, um, in the home Ho Chi Minh City. And so, I um, oh, so in 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 there, I'm writing a little bit about death. And this awareness that death is an illusion, right? Because what I am learning is that death is like light. It's, it's, as a death is like light. You can't touch it. No, it's, that's not what I wrote. I wrote, um, it's the loss. Loss is an illusion, not death. Loss is an illusion. And one of the books, it's it I haven't read it and and it's from the back cover it talks about um uh a a young woman's um fear that her culture was going to um be taken away by, by the colonialist or something like that. And and so it motivates her you know, when we fear loss of something, we hold on tighter. We hold on tighter because we don't want to let it go. And it just reminded me of, like, you know, society, right? Everything right now, right? And people are wanting to hold on to certain beliefs because they're afraid. They're afraid of what it's going to look like without it, right? And, and, and people at the same time, we hold on to people because of, of fear of what life will be like without it, without them. And, 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 you know, a lot of what I'm learning about 
culture and society here in the city is this ongoing battle between preserving and maybe it's more preservation or not of, of the old ways, the old ways of doing things. Pero nada más cuando les conviene is what I'm realizing. Why? Because it's this battle of in the indigenous people, right? And, and how colonialism kind of did away with that, right? With, with you know, and, and so there's this battle between reclaiming lands, right? You know, who are you if you don't recognize that this land was not, was, was take, not taken, right? And, 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 you know, with the acknowledgement that I learned at the beginning of my courses, and I get it, I, there's this element of not forgetting. There's this element of not forgetting, but, but, there's resistance towards the, the becoming as well. And, and, and there's this, it's so like, apparent to me when I hear people's conversations and, and there's just this this unknowing of of how to apply what they're doing outside of them. It's 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 so interesting to see that what they're doing is the exact same thing. The pattern is the same. The context is different. The pattern is the same with, and, and it's going to sound offensive, but with LGBTQ community, with, with the people who are trying to preserve the old way, right? The, the, the binary way and, and, and the, the resistance towards that because we are evolving. It's the same, it's the same pattern. <laughs> And, 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 and so then it's like, well, what's the balance of both, right? What's the balance of making sure we continue to preserve the history, the old way, but still embrace the new, right? To still, you know, uh, honor, right, the binary way and still embrace the evolving way, right? And, and so... So anyway, <laughs> off tangent. So, so I was making a comment about death and loss. And then there was this shift within me in this letter that I'm like, I don't know if I should write about it completely. Not yet, completely. Because then I started questioning myself. I started questioning myself in this awareness of like, do I know death? Do I know death? to be able to speak on it, right? And, and I think that's where, you know, a lot of my dreams have been more about becoming comfortable with loss, right? Becoming comfortable with just, okay, right? Becoming comfortable with it, so comfortable with it. And this dream, this experience reminded me that you, Jose Jesus Cisneros, you know death. You know death. You know it better than I do. You know that experience, repeated experience, better than I do. That's what I realized. I know life. I know life and you know death. That's what I realized. That's what I realized. So that's why it feels incomplete. <laughs> it feels a little incomplete I'm learning I'm learning a different perspective I'm learning a, the other side of it that's what I realized that's what I realized anyways I just I wanted to document that awareness it's eight o'clock I need to get ready I, for whatever it's worth I, I just to remind myself maybe as I keep writing to be mindful about that too Is, is the contrast, the contrast between simply the contrast between um, my 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 uh, desire 
my uh, to keep going, to keep going, to keep going, to keep evolving, to keep evolving, right? <laughs> you're the contrast. You're you're <laughs> slow down. <laughs> you're uh more like mm, one step at a time, right? One detail at a time. Don't go too fast, you. I can go too fast, and and you go too slow. <laughs> you 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 you're the opposite. You're the opposite. <laughs> that's that's funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's it's peculiar funny. I'm not you know laughing at you funny. Just the the you know just the opposites. <laughs> Alright, that's it. <laughs> hey you, my name is Yubi and I use she they pronouns and you've just finished watching a clip from my video diary entries where I'm documenting my healing journey as I learn how to navigate my spiritual awakening. I have learned that this experience and process is unique to each and every one of us in whatever way we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. And despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of formal mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, um, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself as these experiences unfold and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, please know that there is a time gap between when these videos post and my real timeline. And also that these clips build upon each other similar to chapters in a book. So if you find yourself lost or confused, feel free to click on the playlist section or the link below um, where you can jump around, check out the other chapters, and or catch up. Um, also, please know that um, you're more than welcome to check out my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered all of this information, my background, experience, um, and education to create online self-paced courses to help you on your healing journey wherever you are. You're also more than welcome to check out my other YouTube channel, at You Becoming Healed, where I've entertained a podcast, including clips from these courses so that I can make this content accessible to more and more people. Um, please click like, subscribe, and share this content so again it reaches more people with the hopes that other people will resonate and connect with the healing journey and the stories shared so that they don't feel alone in their own process. I thank you in advance. I'm grateful to you and um, I wish you well.